Hey y'all, welcome back to Rule of Bros. We are picking up where we left off last time, and that was... Oh no. Where were we? Oh, we got to choose a story from the, uh, the candlelit room, and I chose the bird. So we should be picking up right where we left off in that room that we had kind of explored. Yes, there's the bug at night. Uh, looks like Brown is stuck. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're just gonna exit this room because we've already searched it. There's nothing in here. First class guest sector. Oh, cutscene already. The strong-willed princess and the wise-looking princess were talking. The unlucky girl listened in. She doesn't seem to be skittish at all, Diana. You're right, Meg. We had better push her a little harder. We'll discuss the details later. Okay, let's meet at our secret place. <laughs> think we do we think that they took the bird Jennifer found red feather a crimson bird feather how many ways can we say red let's like a let's take a look at uh what they left for us up here uh, read the poster this month's gift birdie of happiness Well, obviously, we don't have a bird. However, we can use brown to uh, find the feather. Alright. And we do need to equip something. Let's, uh, let's, let's equip the steel pipe. Don't know if we'll need it right now, but you never know. I didn't fare too well in our very first boss fight, if you guys remember. Okay, so I forgot how to tell Brown to do stuff. I always do this. Go! All right. Got it right on the first try. Also, I have new glasses. So I'm sorry if the light is reflecting off of them. I very much apologize. I know that's annoying. However, I have a new prescription, so I figured it was best to wear glasses while we're playing these games. Although I'm sure there will be times when I don't because I'd like to show off my makeup, which sounds really vain, but girls with glasses will understand. I really like these though. They have really big uh, frames, so I feel like, you know, most of my makeup is able to be seen. Oh, we got stuck there for a minute, didn't we? Alright, we got a bird drawing. Another bird drawing. It's leading us. So we really don't need Brown to keep looking. Um, oh, that is glitching terribly. I gotta love these old PS2 games. I mean, we're solely playing them for the nostalgia and because, you know, it's this is a really good horror game, you guys. If you ever get a chance to get your hands on it, you should absolutely play it. Although, it's a very, very rare game. There are only so many copies made, and unfortunately, if you do manage to run across a copy, it can run you upwards of $400, which sucks, because like I said, this is this is a really good game. So if you can't get your hands on it, uh, second best thing is to watch somebody else play it. So you got me. There are bird feathers on the floor. This doesn't look good, guys. The feathers form a trail that begs to be followed. That's a lot of feathers. What? Okay. Come on. Okay. Alright, he was barking because all the feathers falling down. He's like, hey, here's the feathers. This is really bad, you guys. There's a very obvious trail, but let's take a look real quick to see if there's anything laying. Oh my god, that feather scared me. You guys see that glitching over there in the corner? What is that? Ugh, I don't think I want to know what that is. 
Alright, let's just go to where the trail leads. Second passenger corridor. More feathers, you guys. I don't think this bird has any feathers left at this point. Which is really sad. Oh. Okay, no, that's just the rug. I was like, oh, it splits off in different places. Where is Brown going? Oh, okay, he's following me. He just, he's confused. It's okay, it's okay, but I get confused too. I don't know where I'm doing, going or what I'm doing. We're just, oh, okay. All right, we're going to the ladies' toilet. Women's laboratory. Oh. Oh, no. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. <gasps> Is that blood on it? <laughs> They've done you something know really what? bad. You know what? What? I don't like her. I'll never get along with her. No chance, not ever. She's such a pain. Just terrible. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she had it coming. Yes, she deserved it. Mm. Are we too cruel? <laughs> Heavens no! You're right. It's her own fault. <laughs> They were talking about uh, the princess who has the bird. I think they've they've obviously have done something to the bird, which is really terrible. Uh, it's I can't hardly stand animal cruelty. It's like one of my oh shit. There ain't no getting out of this, is there? Nope. All right. Have to face the music. The strong willed princess said. Eavesdropping, eh, Jennifer? What a bad girl. Sorry, I have a really terrible accent for these. The wise looking princess said. I know what you're doing. You're looking for the bird of happiness, aren't you? It's in a room nearby, but I don't remember the room number. The bird will die if we don't hurry. And that will make Eleanor cry. No, I bet she'll be furious. She's going to go insane. Then let's make a wager on whether she'll cry or get angry. It's a bet. I am like 99% sure the bird is dead. All right, so we followed the trail here. I guess we could start just by trying to see where in the world. We could just start trying to open doors. Uh, let's start, let's start at one end of a hallway. Alright, looks like... Oh. This is, where, this is where we came in. So let's see, what is that? 20... 21. I hear something. Bluebird. Oh! Oh, these textures are glitching out something terrible. 25, 24... Look at that! Jesus! Did you hear that? 
It's a bird. Alright, we're going in this room. Room 26. Watch it be in the room next door. What we got? Jennifer found land sketch. Okay. Land of the birds. Population 834. Okay. Alright, looks like our bird is not in here. Okay, Jennifer, could we not glitch? Alright. There's a box labeled land. Oh, is it 8.34? We shall see. Watch it not be. <laughs> oh! We got a nice little open animation there. We got another box with a... Uh, code, it looks like. Oh, I'm having quite, quite the tough time getting around in here. Inventory full, please drop something. Oh, fantastic. What can we drop? Or eat. Can we eat anything? Uh, you know what? We can drop this. Uh, yes. And that's okay, because we can get to it later from, uh, the, the trash bin. What'd that say? Torn something? Birdie Town Mayor's Diet Chart. Part of it has been torn off. Diet chart. Let's see if we can take a look at that again. No, that's the land sketch. Oh, this one's got a fine target on it. Let's look at it, though. Let's see if there's any numbers. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's try to get around in this room again. It won't even let me touch the box. Can I touch this one again? Oh, this one says village. And it does have a code, which we don't know what it is. So, let's exit this room and tell Brown to find whatever is on the uh, diet chart. See where that leads us. Find. Go! All right. I hear something in my headphones, but oh, there's a girl down there. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But we'll go in here. Um, the the volume is really crappy. This looks freaky as fuck. Alright, pick it up. There we go. Wasn't anywhere near what needed to be picked up, but that's fine. Oh, we have to drop something from our inventory. Uh, <laughs> this is getting sketch. Uh, okay, we can drop this too, because we've got the, uh, the pipe. Do we ever get an inventory increase? Because this is kind of crappy. <laughs> uh, Alright. We could probably drop that key next time as well. We found the diet chart. This must be the other half. Here we go. Birdie Town Mayor's diet chart. This morning's weight, 124 kg. So we need to make our way back to room 26. Oh, these textures are just absolutely lovely today. I don't think we've ever experienced this much glitch in any of my other Let's Plays. Uh, so, can we flip the camera? Okay, yeah, we need to go this way because that's where Chick is. Very unsettling to see her waiting down there, by the way. Alright, so the code was 124. We're gonna put that on the village lockbox. Alright. One. Nope. Wrong direction. Two. Four. There it is. Oh, there's the lid. Alright. Got another piece of torn paper. So it's like big box, like smaller boxes inside of a bigger box. Kind of strange, but 
Whatever. Daddy is, mummy is. The rest has been torn off. All right, this probably is another fine target. No. Oh, it's got two. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this. I don't think we need to keep, do we need to keep the feather? I'm hesitant. That still has stuff on it. Uh, that also has stuff on it. Hmm. We can drop this. This is the uh, rabbit droppings. All right, so we just freed up a couple of in inventory spaces. Uh, sketch piece. We're gonna say find. Exit this room. We're doing pretty good. You, I haven't uh, hit a snag. Uh, knock on wood. So let's, go. let's just keep going. I'm kind of excited that we haven't had a stall in progress for some reason. Either because I'm too dumb to figure it out. Oh, there's another one down there. Oh, we're heading straight for her. I really... Mm. These kids make me uncomfortable. Look at her face. Her face is glitching. She's sitting on a glitching wall. I don't like any of it. Alright, Brown. I can't believe we haven't run into any enemies yet. I probably just jinxed myself as well when I said that. Torn sketch. Yeah, so we don't have... We're going to have to get another piece of the torn sketch. Daddy plus mummy plus daughter equals... The rest has been torn off. So we got one more. Go! Alright. Oh. Oh, we're going to have to select a different... Sketch, I suppose. Or select the same sketch again. Yeah. Alright. That's fine. We need to exit the room anyway. Because he's just going to, like, go to the store and scratch at it anyway. So we'll leave. Oh, that was a nice touch. So there, if you notice in the rooms, sometimes there's these little details. Like, that one had, like, a coat hook and things. That's really nice. And, I mean, I... Minus the glitchiness of the textures, I think this- oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh gosh. I don't- oh, I don't like- I don't like something about creepy children. And I haven't talked to a single one of them the entire time we've been doing this. I don't want to. They're so fucking creepy. Something is whistling. There's someone. Pick it up. There we go. Oh, we found a scone. Does this mean we're about to battle? Found another scone. Oh, she's the one whistling. We're coming. We're coming. And another. I think we're about to have a boss battle, you guys. Alright. Let's head up. Central Stairway C. I keep forgetting to read off the locations. I'm so sorry. <gasps> the fuck? Holy shit! Uh, uh, oh my god, this is a dead end. Shit. Oh, fucking hell. What in the shit is this? That's another fucking dead end. Oh my fucking god, I'm about to get hit. Get up. Get up. Okay. Ah, damn it. Trying to figure out how. Oh, oh, that thing is running after me. I don't think so. I was not prepared. I was not prepared. Uh, this is another day. Oh my gosh, I am totally going the wrong way. Oh, get up, Jennifer. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh no. We're blocked here. We may not hear you guys. I should have saved. I should have saved. Oh no. Oh, we just died. I didn't even use the steel pipe. I, I had the steel pipe in my hands and I didn't even use it. I thought I could get past. Oh no. At least we're gonna have to do this all over again. Yep, all over again. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through this part or skip it entirely and get us back to where we're supposed to be. 
Uh, all right, let's go. Okay, guys, we're back. And so what I've done was I redid the puzzles that we've already done, and I also saved the game <laughs> in case I mess up and uh, lose my cool and just get killed again. We are going to pick up these biscuits or scones, whatever the hell they are. This one's kind of floating. Scone. I wish that little kid would stop whistling or whatever that poor excuse is for a whistle. And Brown, Brown's just going at it. He's just like, bah. Alright, we're gonna pick up this last gun. Now we know what is up these stairs, and it is quite frightening. So, we are supposed to follow Brown once we get up here. But I freaked out. Oh, shit. Get your ass up. Hurry. Go. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. Alright. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. Pick it up. Alright, we cannot get cornered back here. So we're just gonna have to, like, run out. I, I don't know what else to do. Other than... Try to dodge the birds and... Use the scones if I have to. Daddy plus mummy plus daughter equals question mark. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, holy shit. Why can't I have done that the first time? Alright, back down we go. Back to room 26. But we gotta figure out this puzzle. It's, it's probably coordinating with the uh, color of the birds on the walls. So once we get back in here, we can look around at the walls to see how many colors are there. Alright. Let's take a look at the family sketch. Get myself a little notepad over here. We've got Daddy looks to be orange. So we got orange, green, and yellow. So I'm guessing we need to count up these birds that are drawn on the wall. So we've got a green one over here. Down a tally for him. And uh, we'll start over here. We don't need blue. Uh, nope, none down here. Switch the camera view, go back this way. Nope, none down there. Alright. Let's hope it only concerns this area. Because honestly, if it concerns the whole airship, that's a lot of running around. Uh, yeah, we're gonna head down this way. Is that orange? Or maybe it's supposed to be red and not orange, but all right, one tally for that one. Go right first. Purple is not on our drawing, and that chick is really fucking creepy. Uh, no birds down this way. All right, let's get around Diana. I think her name's Diana. Got a yellow over here. So far, we got one, one, and one. Switch the camera to you. Alright. Did I go down all these? Let's just double check. No birds. All this over here is a purple one. Yes. That orange one. This is towards the girls' laboratory. Go right down this way. It's just the green one. Yep. And blue. And none 
code over here? Is that really the code? One, one, and one? It's kind of dumb. That's if it only pertains to here. Let's hope it doesn't pertain to the entire airship. Alright, this is the family box because we had the family sketch. So one, one, one. Oh, so we got it wrong. <sighs> okay, I'm going to pause it and go search the rest of the airship. All right, we're back. And I believe it's 112. But I could be totally wrong. <gasps> all right, all right, we're good, we're good. I missed a yellow one. All right, let's pick up this torn piece of paper. News article. July 1930, Daily Flamingo. What a name. Famous couple to divorce. Husband borrows, quote unquote, 60 pounds from his wife's 365 pound bank account. means. So I guess what we're going to do is have brown find on this. Luckily we still have our scones so if we run across uh, any enemies we should be alright. The, the bird thingies? That's enough to give you nightmares I swear. Like that that belongs on our no sleep. Which, uh, uh, it's, it's really creepy. Where are we going, Brown? Alright, this round. First passenger corridor. Are we kind of heading back? Oh, no, no, no. You see him over there? Oh. Oh, man, that means we're probably gonna run into him. I'm gonna ready my weapon. Oh shit! Oh shit! July 1930, Dela Flamingo. Husband borrows yet another 30 pounds from his wife's bank account. Ah. Uh. Well, we found Martha! We don't know what we're supposed to do with that. Oh my god. All right, so I'm thinking the numbers must give us the next locked box. So let's take a look at the news article. We got 60, 365, and 30. So I wonder if we just need to add those up. So 60, 365, and... The other one was, was it 30? I believe it was 30. Uh, that was it. Okay. Can we look at Martha again? Yeah. Another 30. Okay. This is very weird. This is very weird. I'm just clicking around to see if there's anything else in here. Alright, Martha. They beat you up. They took your hat, and then... Oh! Shit. Uh, which way did we come out? I think... Let's hope it was this way. No. Yeah? Alright, then we head back to room 26, so we can put in the code. So... Let's see. Let's add this. May oh, no, we don't add it up. We subtract. So 365 minus 60 is 305. 305 mi minus 30 is 275. I'm sorry, Brown. 
the bird noises are extremely unsettling. Especially like with this really nice like theatrical music. I think it's all the way down here, isn't it? Yeah, there's the blue bird. 26, right? Yep. Yeah. That makes sense, right? 365 minus 90? Because, like, he stole money from her bank account? I don't know why I thought to add it up. Couple. Alright, let's try my theory of subtracting the numbers. Because I have been wrong before. 275? Yep, 275. Voila! Alright. What did we get? Alone. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's the bird. <laughs> She didn't have it in her hands in the cutscene. <laughs> the fuck? She just put that dead bird back in the cage like it was uh, a dirty sock. Ugh. I think that was a rat. Are we going on a journey? Seeing through the eyes of the cage? Or possibly the dead bird? Oh, Megan Diana. Her name is Eleanor, I think. The girl with the bird cage. Oh, is she gonna put it in the box? Threw it in there like. I guess they both lost their bit then, huh? Because she didn't cry or get angry. It's just kind of cold indifference. Is Jennifer not? Nope. Jennifer doesn't get to come in. Hmm. Are we resting? Her body looks a little distorted. <sighs> Was that necessary? <laughs> <sighs> well, all right. Um, I saw a little slip of paper over here and a bag. A slip of paper is beneath the clothing. Okay, it's not a bag. It looks like a top. Like a sailor top. The moral, everlasting happiness. Ah, it goes in, it goes in the book. The bird of happiness. Got our little bird feet. Once a girl found a big box. The bird of happiness was inside. The bird would take her to Foreverland, or so she hoped. Each box was smaller than the last. In a cramped, dark space, she finally found her little bird. But it was far too little and far too late. The bird was long dead and had met a bloody fate. The end. The moral? Everlasting happiness is a joke. This game is dark, you guys. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her dear friend. And so she wrote it on the chalkboard. And she'd never forget it ever again. Was that a saving? I think that was a saving. Ah, yeah. 
everlasting. That's heartbreaking. Like I said, like, animal abuse, animal death, like, really, really bothers me. It always has. And I mean, this game is really just chock full of animal abuse. Chock full. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for tonight. I think that's a good spot to end it. Next time, we will go through another book. And depending on if I have to redo anything, maybe we'll get through this, the last two books next time. But I don't make any promises because I constantly fuck this up. And <laughs> I don't know why I freaked out when I saw those bird things and didn't even use my steel pipe or eat the scones. I just freaked out and just let them kill me. <sighs> so, anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There will be another one in a couple of weeks. Uh, before I end this video, I also want to uh, give a big shout out to my first $10 patron. In case you didn't know, I just opened up my Patreon and I have my first $10 patron who is a hardcore geek and his name is Michael. So a big thank you to Michael and I will put him in the end credits and I will see you guys next time. Bye.